To be the best at Halo Wars 2 multiplayer and blitz mode, you're gonna need the guts, the wisdom, and most importantly, a solid deck of cards, or at least a good strategy. Each leader within the game has their own set of abilities and powers that can rage war in very cool, unique ways. You, the player, need to find out which leader fits you the best, and also an idea of which leader is supposed to do what. And today, we're gonna talk about Isabel. Quick shout out to our patrons, Darth Creatures 39, JMS Gaming, Aaron Easter, and Horari Student 19. Now Isabel isn't gonna win any rewards for just showing up or having the greatest warriors on the battlefield, but what she excels at is in assisting her fellow teammates with an assortment of fantastic support powers. These enable her to really give the most powerful units of the other leaders the solid backup that they need to win the match. So let's kick it off with Isabelle's powers. The first one is the most recognized one, which is Ghost in the Machine, and it allows you to take over enemy mechanical units for a short time. The second one is Mac Blast, Hollow Decoy, and Shrapnel Mines. So let's start off with Infantry. With Isabel, you don't want to spend too much time with basic infantry units, but the units recommended if you were to go with infantry would be your marine class, the quick and cheap to produce, and by the way, they're also pretty good for support. And our personal recommendation, the sniper units. Snipers can help you pester and pick off your enemies, and possibly even covering your allies from an upcoming attack. Remember. Isabel is a support leader, so these snipers are great for cover fire while you work your other strategies out. Ground Vehicles For the least likely way to get you kill strategy for use of ground vehicles with Isabel, you will need to think long distance or hit and run for your deck or for your match. Now this means that you want to focus on vehicle cards that allow you to either hit the enemy from afar, like the siege tank Kodiaks, or for something to get you in there fast, cause some chaos, miss things up, fluster them up, and then get the hell out of there. Now you can do this actually with either Kodiaks or Armored Warthogs, which are the best suggestions, and of course having a couple Wolverines around it definitely helps your team fight off the anti-air with of course Isabel being a support leader, uh, some anti-air units and counter units are always advised. Lastly, Air Vehicles. So if you haven't quite got the gist of what Isabel is made for in multiplayer, think support. Always be thinking support. So if you're going towards air, think nightingales because of course this aircraft is solely made to heal and to repair friendly units and by golly it is such an underrated unit so be sure to pump out a couple of these even if you decide to not really go with air be sure to at least have a couple of nightingales to help out your teammates and also some of your units as well so let's go over the cards and units you need one more time infantry you want to focus on marines and snipers Ground vehicles, you want to focus on Kodiaks and Armored Warthogs, as well as some Wolverines if there's some air you need to take care of. And also, lastly, air vehicles, you want to have Nightingales to help support your team as well as your own units. With these cards in your deck, or at least units on the battlefield, you may just be able to become the Isabel Warrior that you've always dreamt to be, or at least since this video came out. Remember, these are just a few suggestions, and of course, battles can take you anywhere so don't think of this as a limitation think of this as a recommendation as something flat as a strategy that can of course be flexible and change as the game evolves anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video thanks for jacob for writing most of this and guys i will see you in the next one if you want more then be sure to let us know we are now going to be moving on to covenant leaders peace guys